Yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers back up in it. How you guys doing? Uh, we got an updated, most uh, rockable hoop shoes list for you guys. Yes. Um, you know, most a lot of basketball shoes are not too rockable off court. You know, they get bulky. Um, I mean, like heavy, the, the uncomfortable. Harden twos. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, also, so for our this list, it's more on like comfort and aesthetics. Yeah. You know, so it does it look good, and obviously that's our opinion. Yeah. Um, but also, is it comfortable just for like, you know, casual use? Because I like to wear a comfortable shoe, um, and uh, usually I don't wear we don't wear basketball shoes when we're going out. But sometimes I do because I like to wear some of these shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyways, we have a few shoes. And we have seven, so I guess it's kind of like a top five. We'll probably call it a top five. So yeah. let's get started right with number one, and that is the Boost You Wear X. And he mm -hmm. put that on the list. I did not. Um, yeah, those are dope. I mean, there's it's like a high fashion kind of vibe. You I know guess. what I mean? It's kind of Y three kind of a vibe. They're super comfortable. They are, yeah. You know what exactly. I mean? Um, if you're into the aesthetics, maybe not. I mean. I like them. I even like them for casual wear. I just, I, for casual shoes, I don't like that ankle. That yeah, but ankle it's kind of like a piece. sock ankle. Really? It's not like a crazy ankle. Yeah, but, I, you know, you can you could roll your, you, you know, you could wear joggers or whatever or, or roll some jeans up and, you you know, you're not going to look too crazy. Um, so there's number one. Yes. But that shoe is a little expensive, just to put that out there, 180 And they're pretty much unavailable right now. <laughs> exactly. So... All right, moving on to the next one is the Kyrie Fly Trap. Mm -hmm. It looks dope. Yeah, it's just like a classic chill looking shoe. It doesn't look too basketball y. Too basketball y, you know? It's kind of a mid to low, and it's also super comfortable. Yeah. You know, super light and minimal feeling for sure. Very cheap, also. Very cheap. So uh, there's that. Moving on to the next one is the Jordan 32. Mm -hmm. um, the, the prime or the woven is very comfortable. Yeah. And uh, the cushion, it's not the easiest to feel when you're just walking around. I could really feel it when I'm playing, but uh, when I'm walking, can you? No. Yeah, not really. But uh, it's still super comfortable. It does feel like pretty bulky and. Um, That's the only downside. I mean, like a boot, but I mean. But if you wanted to rock a high shoe or something, or you know, you could rock that with shorts, maybe a little better. Or, yeah. Um, but yeah, we I, we have the red Rosso Corso colorway, which is pretty fire the, the, was it the and there's black, a lot of crazy colorways the black cat coming out black cat is that dope. dope yeah so, there's um, a lot of fire colorways and there's also a low version i don't think those look as good yeah but um if, you, if you're into lows exactly all right moving on to the next one is the curry five mm. the curry five is just super comfortable uh the cushion of course uh i feel like could be better but it's a basketball shoe for response for curry so um, but it's just I, I really like the comfort of the knit stretching over your um, foot and it's just a really nice fit and it looks dope too. So. Yeah, looks wise it's not too crazy. It looks like it could even be a trainer. Yeah. It's super low and minimal so yeah, not bad. Okay, moving on to the next one is a Kobe AD Mid and this mm -hmm. is probably uh, one of the most comfortable as in cushion, one of them. Uh, so the Lunalon feels super nice when you're just uh, casually walking around. It looks pretty dope. Um, not not with like a really bright colorway in my opinion, but if you get like a simple like solid color option like I do with my black Kobe AD mids, yeah, they look super simple and just like a casual shoe. So yeah, I, I actually don't love the way those look, but I feel like a lot of people really like those yeah. aesthetically. So um, so there's that, and and yeah, overall a comfortable shoe too. Exactly. Moving on to the next one is the KD10. Mm -hmm. So Donnie boy. Yeah, that's super rockable. I mean super comfortable off court just walking around You could really feel the zoom falling zoom and then the knit upper is super soft wraps right around your foot um, You know, it might even feel a little bit more so better for off court use than <laughs> yeah. on court use You know what exactly. I mean? It's because it's that comfortable and it looks pretty dope too. fly knit always looks dope it Looks super. And, dope, and there's a lot of really cool colorways where you get kind of the multicolor vibe Oreo vibe you can even do I just I can't get a pair they don't oh, have my size. Oh yeah. The smallest they go is an eight. And you're not trying shoe. to pay for retail, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like only in that shoe, they don't go under eight. Or in some some pairs, but then they sell out because um, I don't know why they sell out. And they run long. And they run long. I mean, you can go snug in them, you know. So um, I just can't get a pair, you know. So anyways, there's that. We got to the last and final shoe is the basketball shoe that I rock 
the most casually is a LeBron 15. Mm -hmm. It's just the, that battle knit. Uh, it's super easy to put on. You just stretch it on, and it's really easy to lace up too. You just you don't really even have to tighten it because the knit is already a really good fit anyway. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like tie tie the top. I don't need to go all the way down, tighten everything, you know. And then so there's the knit which is super comfortable, and then the, the cushion is also very comfortable. It can't you, I can't really feel it too much while just walking, but uh, the heel I can I can feel uh, pretty pretty well, and then. Uh, it's just it looks dope too. And it's a dope looking shoe, it man. Dope, so. That knit looks really crazy. There's really really cool colorways out. Yeah. There's even more colorways coming out. Um, it's also a little pricey, but you know it's almost one of, another one of those shoes where it's almost better off court than on court. Exactly. You know, very very casually driven shoe and um, uh, definitely dope off court. So uh, that's our list. Hope we helped you guys out. Um, definitely cop one of these if you want a hoop shoe. To yeah, do you can, both exactly you know what i mean save the money save the money so that's it thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next week later